Brandmeister is now requiring a password for you to connect your hotspot to their network. Well, why not? You know, my my original question was, oh, what that was supposed to be the intro. So let's talk about that today. Shut up and sit down. Ham Radio 2.0 on YouTube and several other platforms too. If you're following that along, uh, put a put a comment below. Let me know. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name's Jason. I'm KC5HWB. I've been a ham radio operator in North Texas since 1994, and I've been on YouTube since about 2015, telling people all about new stuff in amateur radio. Some of it's good. Some of it's um. We'll just we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> so Brandmeister's requiring a password for you to connect your hotspot to their servers now. And why not? Why not? Quite frankly, I thought that this was something that they should have done in the first place. I was always I was I thought it was always strange that they set up a password, the require the field and requirement for a password, because you had to enter the password of P-A-S-S-W-0-R-D. You always had to enter that. And it pre-populates in a lot of the Pi Star stuff, and it pre-populates in the open spot. So why have it? If it's gonna if it's gonna be a required field, which it is, because if you back that password out, it wouldn't connect. Okay, so it's a required field and it's a password that you give everybody and it's not secure so why have it maybe for future expansion and that's what we're looking at today so we're going to look today at how to set up your password on your brandmeister dashboard for your open spot and pi star device let's take a look okay let's go over here to this screen right here and we're going to say this is on the brandmeister news screen zoom in on that a little bit please configure a personal Security password for your hotspots. What are hotspot passwords? Okay, you guys can read this. I'm going to leave this link in the YouTube description below. So here's how we do. We log into our Brandmeister Self-Care, and we go here, we go here, we go here. So I've already logged into my Self-Care site. That's that's me right there. And if I go, if I click, if I mouse over this top here, you guys can see, yeah, that's there. Mouse over here, and then um, go to Self-Care right there. It brings up this page that you're looking at. That's how I got here. I got here by, uh, I guess you could, yeah, that's where it comes up. If you type in brandmeister.network, this is what you get. You go here, you click on self-care. You have to log in first, obviously. And then it's got this hotspot security, and it's defaulted to on. Now, you can turn it off. I didn't turn this on when I logged in here the first time. This was already on. So you can turn it off and save. I'm going to guess that one of two things happens. Either it's going to turn itself back on by default. Okay. You see, that's my other that's my other uh, DMR ID right there. It's either going to turn it back self back on by default, or it's simply not going to allow you to connect the next time you put this ID into a hotspot and try to connect. So this is the ID. This 3148141 is the ID that I generally use with my hotspots. My 062 ID is the one I use with most of my mobile radio, my shack radio and my mobile radio. So today we're going to set this up here. Okay, so I'm going to set it. You know what? I'm going to use this one. This is what I'm going to use right here. Save. Website and uses cookies. I don't care. Okay, so that's enter a new path. I assume that it saved. It didn't really tell me. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go we're gonna go on the assumption that it saved, and I'm gonna log in uh, go in over here to my Pi Star dashboard. This is my this is one of my TGIF spots, and you see right down here. Zoom in on that a touch. Brandmeister United States thirty one oh three. Since they're doing this across the board, it's probably going to apply to all these servers, I assume. But your dashboard controls your connection to all of the servers. It's not just per server. It's everything on the Brandmeister network. So that that password that I just entered on the dashboard, on the self-care dashboard, I'm going to put right there. I'm going to change this to O. Let's change it to O3 just because. And I'm going to do that. 
And we're going to wait for that to change. Yep. You see my C CPU operating temperature is kind of high. It's hot today in the shack, and it's hot today in the shack because I want it to be because it's like it's like 46 degrees outside right now, and I've got long or short sleeve shirts on because I got the heater going. First time I've turned on the heater this year. What do you know? I'm not sure exactly when this video will post, so... If it's like middle of December and you're like, you're just now turning, well, no, I've recorded this a while ago. So, you know, there's, there's that. All right, let's go get a radio and I'm going to try to connect. Now, see, it is connected and listening right here because on this screen, this DMR and DMR net at the top left corner here are both green. It says listening right there. I wonder if, you know what, let's do, let's try this. I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to change my password to something that is not a password. I typed the word not a password in just there, right there. Apply changes. i wait for it to reset again, because I'm curious. Up there. Reset dashboard that still says it's connected and listening i'm going to guess that it's actually connected and seeing the dashboard but it's not going to pass any traffic through that's what i'm guessing might be a fun experiment for some other time all right let me grab my dmr radio go back to the dashboard here kc5 hwb testing on the r finder talk group just like that. KC5 HWB is K4GBW in East Tennessee. You're coming in good. GBW in East Tennessee. Look at that. Okay, good deal. Uh, KE4GBW. Thanks for the uh, thanks for the comeback, my friend. Doing some testing on the new uh, password requirements for the Brandmeister server. Just wanted to make sure everything was connected up and working. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're sounding good. You're making it in really good on, on, the, on the talk group. Enjoy the videos. <laughs> Keep them coming. And uh, I'm standing by. Tell you for you be done. Okay, Bradley. Hey, thanks a lot. Appreciate that. Glad to hear it. Uh, and you're going to be uh, recorded in the video right now. So <laughs> that's what I'm doing. I'm recording the video on how to set up your new uh, password on Brandmeister. So, 73, thanks for the comeback. Uh, you have a good afternoon. KC5HWB. So, there we go, right there. And uh, it is working. Now, whether it would work on the... Bad password I put in there? I don't know. I don't know. It, it, it looked like it... Uh, it looked like it did... It looked like it had connected. And I'm going to guess, here's what I'm getting, because Brandmeister does this. If you don't have the right ID in your code plug, then your hotspot will still connect, but it doesn't pass traffic. So here's what I'm guessing. Because the password in your hotspot doesn't affect your self-care website. Okay. so Or doesn't match, doesn't match your self-care website. So likely it just won't pass traffic. Kind of like you can connect it now and put in a bogus DMR ID and it won't pass traffic on Brandmeister right now. So that's probably what it is. So it doesn't keep you from connecting to the server. It probably keeps you from passing traffic over the server. Who's tried this? Who's used it? Let me know if you're on, if you were aware of this. This is just something I found out a couple days ago. Uh, somebody emailed me about it. I'm like, no, I didn't know that. Cool. It's out there now. Um, good idea or bad idea? What do you think? Put your comments below. Put that up there, write that. Yes, just like that. Hey, Brandmeister, am I, is that even on? Hello? Yeah, that's on. I'm going to make sure that the scene was right. 